Welcome to this spoken tutorial on registration on the SBI Pay app. In this tutorial, we will learn to download and install the SBI Pay app on our Android smartphone, complete the one-time registration process. SBI Pay is a UPI app that SBI has specially designed for the UPI payments system. UPI stands for Unified Payment Interface. Using SBI Pay app, one can make and receive payments. SBI Pay app can be downloaded and installed on any Android smartphone. Any person having a bank account can use the SBI Pay app. With SBI Pay, one can do transactions without having to disclose any bank or card details. SBI Pay can be used by any customer of any bank that offers UPI facility. SBI Pay does not ask money in advance. Rather, your money remains in your bank account and keeps earning interest. Let's now see a demo of how to download and install the SBI Pay app. Important note. Attach the SBI Pay app to the same mobile number that is registered with your bank account. On your Android smartphone, go to Google Play Store. Search for SBI Pay as shown here. There would be many apps displayed but carefully locate the exact SBI Pay app. Alternately, you can also use the direct link of SBI Pay. Download the SBI Pay app and install it on your Android smartphone. Immediately after installation, we can open the app by selecting the Open button. But, if you use the app later, you will be brought to this screen. Now, let's learn to use this app. First step is to register your bank account. On the app, select Account Management. Then select Add Account. In either case, you will be brought to this page with this message. The app will ask you for permission to send and view SMS messages. Here it says one of three. Select Allow option. Next, the app will ask you for permission to make and manage phone calls. Here it says two of three. Again, select Allow. Lastly, the app will ask you for permission to access the device's location. Once again, select Allow. Now it will say that your device is not registered with the PSP. Please note, to use SBI Pay app, your mobile device should be registered with the PSP. Select the Accept option. A message will be sent from your phone for authentication. A confirmation message appears on the screen which contains your mobile number. Verify this and then select Yes. The app will now take you to the UPI registration page. This is where you have to create your VPA, that is, Virtual Payment Address. So enter your preferred virtual address in the given text box. I will enter Lata. After this, fill all the details in first name, last name and email fields. Then choose the secret question and answer for security purposes. After this, choose your bank account from the drop-down list. It's mandatory to choose the bank in which you have the account. It's not mandatory to choose SBI Bank only. Since my bank account is in State Bank of India, I will choose that one. Lastly, 
check the I agree checkbox. Now select the next button. The app will fetch your bank account number automatically and display it here. Now select the register button. Immediately a message is displayed. It says that your UPI registration is successful. This means your one-time bank account registration is complete. Now select OK button. The app will now take you to the next page. Here you have to set the SBI Pay app password. This is the password you will enter whenever you use the SBI Pay app. Enter your preferred password. This is followed by another secret security question and answer. Now select the set app password button. Immediately a success message is displayed. Select OK. The app may bring you to this page. Don't worry if it doesn't. In this page, the app will ask if you want to remember the password that you set. You can choose from the options displayed as per your preference. After this, the app will take you to the next screen. Here, you will be prompted to enter the same password that you created. Let's do that and then select the Submit button. On doing so, your one-time password registration is completed. You have successfully generated your login and password for the SBI Pay app. Next, you will be taken to the page where you have to set the UPI PIN or M PIN. Select Set UPI PIN option. The app will bring you to this page. Here, Choose the same account number that you had added earlier. For first-time users, there will be only one account displayed. However, you can repeat the above procedure and attach another of your bank accounts to this app. This is possible if this same mobile number is attached to your account in another bank. That's why we have to choose our account number carefully. Then enter the last six digits of the debit card associated with the selected bank account. Lastly, enter the expiry date and select the submit button. Please wait if buffering sign is seen. The app will now bring you to this page. Here, you will be given the option to enter OTP and MPIN. I have received an OTP via SMS on my phone. I will enter that here. Next, enter the MPIN, which is the password you created earlier. Then select the Submit button. Please wait if buffering sign is seen. MPIN is now successfully linked with your bank account. Select Back button. The app will now redirect us back to the main menu. At this point, all the one-time registration processes are complete. SBI Pay is expected to be a game changer in the digital payment ecosystem. SBI Pay app is the cheapest method of money transfer. A transaction costs less than 50 paise through SBI Pay app. Because of this low cost, it has the potential to promote non-cash transactions of small amounts. Small transactions such as payment to your neighborhood grocery or payment to a vegetable vendor are now feasible for the small shopkeeper as well as the consumer. SBI Pay app has minimized the security concern of the common man. The virtual payment address does not give any clue about your bank account. Also, the authentication takes place on your own smartphone by punching two different pins. 
SBI Pay is a UPI app based on IMPS platform. So, it works 24 by 7. Hence, transfers are instantly done. You can make a payment anytime. There is no restriction of holiday or odd hours. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to download and install the SBI Pay app on an Android smartphone, complete the one-time registration process, the Spoken Tutorial Project team creates audio-video tutorials on various informative and general awareness topics and conducts training programs too. For a complete list of topics, please visit spoken-tutorial.org. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Hope this tutorial was helpful. This is Nancy Worky from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.